welcome to my channel nice to have you here my name is reina and i'm a cosplayer several months ago i've noticed that cosplays on one particular anime girl kept popping up all over the place on the internet it looked like everyone everyone has already cosplayed her can you guess who i'm talking about no it's not makima it's your Foja from spikes family and i thought Am I the only one who didn't get invited to the party? Why am I being left out? So I opened the AliExpress app and... Ordered the costume. It's Doki Doki Super Rare version. And I also ordered the wig. I hope it's right here in the package with the costume. Mm -hmm. And I also ordered these stockings because apparently the costume didn't include them. It's just some random stockings from the AliExpress. Literally the first ones that I found. And I also ordered the needles. They're from a different store from this one. You can also get them on Doki Doki, but these ones are way cheaper. I received this package yesterday, it's still sealed. I haven't opened it yet. Obviously, it's an unboxing video. Well, it's not an unboxing video, but an unpacking video. Because it's not a box, it's a package. Okay, I'll just open it. So I ordered the costume in size L. It's always a dilemma for me whether I should order M or L because my perfect size would look like something like this. And obviously it doesn't exist. <laughs> and I actually wanted to order M at first, but while I was thinking it all through, it went out of stock. <laughs> So I had no choice. Well, I could pre-order M, but uh, I didn't want to wait and I thought that maybe it's a sign from above. So I ordered L and they sent it to me a month later. So I could have as well ordered M. That's the week. Yay, it's here. Let's look. Okay, I see some bobby pins here inside. Mm -hmm. It looks nice. So I can see that and I hope you can see that too. There are a lot of wefts of hair. So it's quite thick, I suppose. And here is this little skin imitation silicone thing. The bobby pins. That's what I was talking about. Okay. <coughs> Let's look at the accessories first. The gloves. Yeah, the gloves. <laughs> they are funny. <laughs> A thread. Mm hmm. And next are these uh, garters. What should I call them? Mm. Oh. Oh. So they are from very thick leather. I've expected some kind of Velcro fastener, but there is nothing. Only these straps inside. Okay. <laughs> The accessories. The earrings, but there is no fastener, so I guess you have to attach them to your earrings. Mm. Oh, well, wait. Oh, I get it. I'm dumb. There are no earrings, they're just clips. See? Next, the head accessories. These roses are made of golden fabric. And they're like hair clips. And apparently this one fell off. 
Well, I can glue it, but um, not a good look for Doki Doki. Hmm. Wait, do I have to clip them right here, like this? Yeah, I think I do. Mm. The most exciting part, the dress. The inside looks awesome. So these red roses, they are on lace. And it's a separate layer, obviously. Look. The fabric is pretty nice. Looks like there are some kind of metallic fibers, maybe. But it's, it's really sparkly. The neck part is made of the same leather as the garters. And there are cups inside, see? Cool. <laughs> Here is a zipper. Well, yeah, I like it. Overall, very nicely done. This little rose made out of metal. Okay, now let's try it on. And your photo is finally here. What can I say? Quality-wise, this costume is great, awesome, amazing, wonderful. Sizing-wise, it's debatable. This dress is definitely too big for me, and ironically, it's especially too big for me in the chest. Just look. I have a lot of extra fabric on both sides, and... Um, well. And I also have some free space on my waist and on my hips. Well, the fabric is non-stretchy, so in this case, I guess it's better to take size up which I did, basically, because I might have been too tight and even uncomfortable, especially if I were to wear it on a convention, for example. When it comes to chest, my size is 75D and it's quite loose under bust, so it doesn't hold what it was supposed to hold. And though it has cups inside, I had to put on a silicone bra because it was very uncomfortable otherwise. So I guess I will have to adjust this side seam to make it a bit smaller, especially in the chest. The accessories are also nicely done. I love them. The ear clips are a bit too difficult to put on, especially for someone like me. The only thing I really don't like about this costume are the gutters. Honestly, it would be much better if they just made stockings instead of these gutters. But I guess you're supposed to buy this costume with the high knee boots that they sell. So this leather is non stretch as well and as you can see they're really sticking out right here. So it doesn't look that good, honestly. And they're very tight on top, right here, yet they're very loose on the bottom, right here. So you can easily see that these gutters are separate from the stockings. Now, when it comes to the wig, it's definitely high quality as well, it's very soft, and it's covering my hair. See? Which is great. It would be even better if I fixed it with bobby pins, but I didn't, for now at least. The bangs are definitely too long and it's kind of annoying right now, but it's not a bad thing because I can cut it to my liking, which is great. And you have to be very careful with this styling because I think it's very easy to mess up. And if I mess it up, I don't think I will be able to style it the same way, so... So I need to be extra careful, especially when I'm taking off the head accessories. Overall, I would give this costume... 9 out of 10. Because of the gutters, I really don't like them. Hi, Rainy here. I was editing the video and I thought, why was I so nice to them? I guess I was just happy to finally get my costume, but now that 9 out of 10 doesn't feel right to me. Now, in case you wonder, it's almost Halloween and I am a goth fox, Ari Kasa. I have a tail, I have cute pink ears and I have 
Aaron and a scarf, obviously. Now back to your. First, they sent it to me a month after I placed the order and they never notified me that the costume wasn't actually in stock at the moment. They only admitted it after I messaged them, which is not nice. So one Anya off. Second, what's up with the size? In case you didn't know, Doki Doki are not actually making their costumes. Everything they sell is just stuff from different stores from Taobao. Except for the wigs. I think they do make their wigs. And my costume, the super rare version, is from the store called One Third Delusion. And it's quite funny, because they have the same issue with some other costumes. For some weird reason, they sometimes make the boobage area much bigger than it's supposed to be according to their size chart. Just look at my Ari costume. I wanted to cosplay this skin so much, and the quality is actually great, but it just looks ridiculous. What's that? Why do they make it so big? I can't even wear it. I don't know what to do with this costume. When it comes to Kaisa, it's a perfect fit for me. 10 out of 10. So again, they made the bus size bigger than it was supposed to be. And you might think that I should know better by this point and just order M, but no. Evelyn costume is size M and it's too small for me in chest. So I have no idea what's going on with their brand, why are they often off their own size chart, but they are. To sum it up, ordering from them is a lottery. And in case of your, it was a failure. So one Anya off. And also that thread. Okay, no. I need to stop. 7 out of 10. My final rating. And now, back to me as you. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you want me to make a review of some other popular characters cosplay. Maybe Makima. Subscribe to this channel if you like cosplay like I do. Hope to see you all in my next video. Have a nice day. Bye.